B.H. The Second Passover In the intricate dance of time and spirit, where the essence of existence intertwines with the soul's journey, there lies the enigma of the Second Passover, a saga woven with threads of revelation and transformation. To decipher its essence, one must traverse the realms of the soul, guided by the luminous wisdom of the ages. In the realm of the first month, Nisan, where the air is thick with the memory of liberation, the soul grapples with the shadow of its own bondage. Here, in the crucible of affliction, the imperative is clear. To shun evil, to flee its clutches, to emerge unscathed from its dark embrace. Yet, as the month transitions to Iyar, a subtle shift occurs. The soul's journey takes a different hue, for now it embarks on the sacred task of refinement. Like a skilled artisan, it meticulously sculpts its character, chiseling away imperfections to reveal the radiant core within. But what of the interplay between these two months, these twin pillars of spiritual evolution? Here, the wisdom of the Kabbalah unveils a profound truth. Nisan, with its focus on sovereignty, heralds the descent from above, while Iyar, rooted in foundation, signifies the ascent from below. And in the sacred dance of the Sephirot, these two realms merge, each informing the other in an intricate tapestry of divine wisdom. And so, we come to the heart of the matter, to the essence of the second Passover. It is a leap of faith, a boundless journey beyond the confines of limitation. For just as the Israelites fled Egypt in haste, so too does the soul leap beyond the bounds of convention, transcending the limitations of time and space. But there is more to this tale, for the second Passover is not merely a continuation of the first. It is a quantum leap, a journey into the unknown realms of the soul's potential. Here, in the realm of goodness and kindness, the soul finds its true expression, unfettered by the constraints of its past. It is a journey of self-discovery, of revelation, where the soul's true essence shines forth like a beacon in the night. And so, as we stand on the threshold of redemption, let us remember the lessons of the second Passover. Let us embrace the boundless potential of the soul, and let us leap into the unknown with courage and conviction. For in the realm of the Spirit there are no limits, no boundaries, only endless possibility and infinite potential.